uh, it has been quite interesting to notice that the very English phrase or sentence or proverb, no, it is a blessing in disguise. This really, this uh, uh, proverb has been the kind of a reality to us today. The virtual classes, in fact, uh, uh, everything seems to be going online and the interactions uh, through the means of uh, online modes are becoming perhaps the mode of 20th, I mean rather 2020 years. Now, uh, well, uh, when you talk about the waste management, we have already started in our previous uh, uh, classes. Uh, this particular thing we can discuss online, but uh, we have to take some practical measure to put these uh, thoughts or ideas into reality. Dear children, COVID-19 has not yet over. Amitabh Bachchan will be all, all constantly reminding us we must take care of our COVID-19 safety measures and we pray and hope that the school will open soon and we will come back to school and perhaps whatever we are discussing today also about the waste management we can put them into reality. So we ended in the last uh, eighth assignment before the puja vacation uh, with the uh, topic called the sources of wastes. So today we'll be elaborately discussing on the sources of wastes. West is generated from a number of sources and we'll be discussing just uh, roughly the seven major areas like the domestic waste, the agricultural waste, the medical wastes, then of course you have got the industrial waste, municipal waste, nuclear waste and office and school waste. Now let us go into little detail about this waste. Something about little, little detail about this. Okay, now let us talk about the domestic wastes. A lot of waste material is generated through various activities at home. Maximum waste is generated from the kitchen and includes the leftover food, uh, vegetables and uh, fruit peels. A large amount of plastics, papers, aluminium foils and cardboard are being disposed of due to the growth of in packaging, online marketing. People are doing, uh, the online marketing has really uh, rapidly increased these days. So, when the goods or the materials or the parcels are supplied to our homes, then of course lots of package materials are there. So, those things are becoming waste, they are dumping. So, the dumpage of those uh, materials are becoming nowadays a big hazard. Other ways include broken glasses, plates, tins, bottles, I mean rags, whatever in the school household things which are not usable uh, or the people give, they change every now and then uh, uh, they get uh, hold of the new things. So the old things becoming uh, become waste for the family. So they throw it. The excreta of humans and pet animals and that also contaminated water from toilets also from a large percentage of domestic wastes. Old clothes, furniture are discarded as fashion changes. And my dear children, not only office, nowadays lots of electronic gadgets, electronic like old mobile, old CD, uh, mouse, etc, etc. Even from the houses are being thrown. So, domestic wastes are not just limited to only the uh, vegetable peels, but also nowadays, uh, perhaps in every home, there is lots of other things also being used. Now, industrial waste uh, is a really, really, really uh, big hazard for us. Uh, if you uh, uh, think uh, from the environmental point of view. Almost all industries produce a large amount of waste which can be very dangerous. 
This is generated by the mining of raw materials required by industries. Wastes from mining and querying generate a lot of dust. Dust. Waste material is also sometimes uh, discarded after the construction work is over. The many industries like the manufacturing industries, uh, paper and pulp, uh, petroleum refineries, textile industries, sugar mills, leather units, uh, thermal plants, uh, cement industry are also generate a great amount of wastes. Other hazard, uh, hazardous uh, wastes are generated in the manufacture of fibers, inks, colors and dyes. The uh, children, industrial wastes these days are becoming a real, 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 real threat to the environment pollution. Agriculture especially country like India where uh, majority of our people are still depending on agriculture and you know that in a, a still now 60% of Indian people are uh, having their modes and means of their livelihood uh, from agriculture. So agriculture uh, is uh, uh, rapidly practiced uh, and it is practiced widespread all over India and obviously there are lots of ways which we have to be really concerned about. Modern techniques used in agriculture and the use of chemicals are responsible for the generation of large amounts of agricultural wastes. Some major agricultural sources of wastes are animal wastes, crop residues, rotten fruits and vegetables. So please try to remember what are the agricultural wastes. It's a animal waste, okay, the dead body or uh, the droppings, etc. Then crop residues, rotten fruits, vegetables, leaves and agrochemicals. Agrochemicals means the chemicals which are used for the purpose of agriculture. The chemicals enter the soil and the water and of course uh, even sometimes into the air also and results in polluting them. Now, what are the some of the agricultural waste that can be the following types? Okay, so number one is fertilizers, number B pesticides, and in the under the pesticides you have got so many other varieties, no, that kills the kills so-called we unwanted uh, animals or uh, uh, plants which are needed for a particular agriculture. So they are fungicides, herbicides, insecticides, rodenticides, rodenticides means rodents like uh, rats, uh, uh, mice, okay, even rabbits, even rabbits. You, you, you can't imagine in, in Australia the rabbits are like in India we have you've got rats then in Australia there are rabbits that be, that becomes really it is called a problematic for the for the agriculture so pesticides uh, all those uh, all those chemicals that uh, uh, kills rather protects the crops from fungus okay so uh, even there are risk called there is a, a type of pesticides which we can uh, use even to kill the weeds weeds next will be uh, agricultural waste will be the animal waste then crop residue uh, when the crop is harvested but lots of other parts of the crop still remain the body different parts of the body of the plants remain in the uh, field that that becomes the uh, crop uh, residue sediments now in detail we are talking about uh, what are the these uh, uh, in which way the agricultural waste becomes a hazard for us. Number one is the fertilizers. Well, increase uh, in population has caused a greater demand for food production. Why do we have to use fertilizers? Because the natural production uh, of uh, food or crop is not enough to sustain or to uh, you know to uh, take care of the entire population of India. The number of Indian population is very high it is 1.4 billion approximately and therefore the farmer grows more than two or three crops yeah, I know I come from a village but in our village in those days there was only one crop only once we used to cultivate paddy 
that is in the normal time during the after the uh, during the monsoon time means after the summer uh, summer during the month of say uh, roughly uh, may june july uh, may june july i mean june july we used to cultivate our paddy okay but now you can see in the same village if i go back i can see that the, the paddy is being cultivated uh, three times a year in the same field why because to meet the need of our food crops so therefore the farmer grows more than two or three crops for which there is a need for the use of fertilizers these improve productivity of soil the fertilizers improve the productivity of soil but that is you know uh, not permanent not permanent means they say uh, apparently apparently they improve the productivity of soil may be natural like uh, manure compost worm compost etc or synthetic like nitrogenous uh, ammonium or potassium fertilizers dap deoxyribo okay so dap diammonium phosphate is a very famous common uh, fertilizers among these areas they are being used dap diammonium phosphate fluoride waste is the byproduct of the fertilizers now agriculture pro uh, produces organic and in inorganic waste two ways like uh, from the plants leaves stems from water containing chemicals from animals excreta so these are uh, called uh, the agriculture producing the organic and organic uh, organic as well as inorganic waste two types organic they, they may be eco friendly but inorganic uh, certainly not eco friendly so we have to be a uh, little bit uh, uh, cautious about them now pesticides pests like rats insects uh, disease causing organisms weeds as you see uh, pest doesn't mean that you have to take care about only about the animals but the weeds you see plants themselves the weeds what are weeds which are those type of plants which are not uh, you know uh, want, which are not wanted that's not the main uh, plant that is uh, cultivated okay weeds mites and even rodents cause a lot of damage to the crops therefore chemicals are used to destroy them these chemicals are known as pesticides so chemicals used to destroy fungi are called fungicides weeds are destroyed by the herbicides insecticides are chemical agents that kill insects and most common being ddt and aldrin these are the insecticides ddt or aldrin rodenticides are chemicals used to kill rodents just like rats and mice animal waste animal like buffaloes sheep goat dairy cattle poultry etc generate a lot of waste some of the wastes provide an important source of soil fertility but when these are in excess they cause serious problems at times the waste enters uh, the waste courses uh, water courses and then the human body they are hazardous now animal wastes uh, by and large naturally they are good but anything which anything and everything which with quantity is more than uh, required obviously becomes a hazard so therefore animal wastes are also hazard for the environment crop residue during the process of harvesting the crops large amounts of crops residue are generated and left and uncared for in the fields at times these are burnt then releasing carbon dioxide in the air this leads to global warming so crop residue uh, indirectly uh, uh, ultimately it is becoming a, a hazard so we need to bother to may has called have the process for the waste management the dust created during the process of thrash called thrashing causes uh, bronchial uh, bronchial or bronchial or bronchitis type of infections that means the breathing trouble 
you know that uh, skull even the coal belt is very famous for especially during the winter lots of dust air smoke or smog in the air and due to which uh, people uh, do suffer from the uh, bronchial asthma or asthma or bronchitis means all the chest congestion or we call the uh, breathing trouble problem sediments a large amount of soil and mineral particles are washed away during floods and deposited on the earth's surface in the water bodies these sediments are also deposited in the rivers causing the water level to rise marine life is also affected by this now after this we let us talk about the municipal wastes municipal wastes are waste generated when cleaning the sewer drains and pipelines in the city it leads to heaps of waste in the form of sand dust grit etc the municipality is also responsible for the daily cleaning of the roads the roadside uh, water is collected in heaps and uh, burnt at times or collected and taken by the sweepers now as you can see every now and then the our uh, municipality you know, uh, the jeep or the van is coming and of course the nice beautiful song they play and everybody comes to know yeah 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 they have come to collect our uh, well wastes uh, that's one very good step that uh, whatever who the uh, administration is doing uh, collecting and it is our responsibility also you know to cooperate with them so when the van comes uh, before the van comes we should always throw our uh, wastes or garbage in the right place so that people uh, the concerned people they can come with their van and can collect them and they can carry to the place where it is not hazardous well the municipal uh, waste consists of mainly of polythene paper leaves sand etc medical waste their children nowadays uh, well uh, it seems to be day by day the the uh, called sickness is going to be uh, increasing a lot so lots of medicines and medicinal uh, things are used uh, for our health okay for our health so obviously these are all uh, artificial way of tra treating us because the best way of uh, keeping ourselves fit and fine is of lots of exercise taking proper food in a proper time having good lifestyle that is a proper disciplined lifestyle obviously medicines will be away from us but what to do but medical medical is becoming a uh, big hazard for us in terms of wastes see the ambition of uh, children uh, maybe among many of you who are listening to me now you have the ambition to become a doctor in future and in fact uh, is a, in the majority of the uh, parents and the children they think that in uh, in future what will they be they will be either doctor either engineer etc 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 okay but now uh, time is coming perhaps we have to keep ourselves little bit far away from medicines let us have our natural you know uh, 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 immunity so uh, we have to live our lifestyle in such a way that our body may have natural immunities to protect us from all sort of dangers for your information the covid 19 uh, what you call the serum or vaccine has not yet been dis dis discovered but all those people who are really surviving and hats off to them uh, their body is uh, protecting themselves it is all because our body has got some natural uh, immunity well uh, people are taking some uh, say uh, uh, medicines like uh, containing zinc and uh, vitamin c etc lots of green vegetables and in, in your indian context people are uh, drinking karas or taking taking warm water the kara warm water these are all natural process and little bit of exercise jogging okay disciplined life rising what is called uh, uh, well in uh, good time early in the morning or uh, going to bed well not so late or uh, resting enough etc etc what i want to say what connection in the medical way see the more sickness the more medical products will be used and there will be uh, uh, more medicines more hospitals and more wastes now 
What are the medical waste? This includes uh, cotton, bandages, plasters, syringes, medicines, medicine bottles, medicine needles, medicine strips. The, uh, the, all the medicines are coming in strips. I remember when we were children, that time we, we used to take a bottle from our home and the doctor used to, you know, he used to uh, uh, make those uh, pills into dust and he used to mix them like powder and then with the water he used to make a syrup. And in all medicines comes to under just one, one bottle in the form of syrup. Just homeopathy mein hota tha, daag daag karke, now they used to give us. Now obviously you have got five or seven types of medicines. You have got a normal sickness. The doctors give you five types of medicines. And obviously five types of medicines all are in form of strips. So those uh, strips, no, those uh, whether it is uh, uh, called metal strips, metallic or is a plastic, those things are waste. So some of these are very hazardous in nature. Unless these are disposed of properly, they prove to be fatal and spread a lot of infection. Pathological laboratories. Pathological laboratories are also largely responsible for the disposal of blood samples and syringes. Now imagine if anybody is suffering from COVID and one you know God knows that is it the PPE, huh? the, the dresses, uh, the uniform or what you call it, they are wearing. Suppose they uh, uh, after wearing, if they don't wash, they want to throw it. And if it is not thrown in the right place, then obviously from their dress yourself, if the person is already infected by uh, uh, COVID, then obviously the virus can spread. So children little bit be cautious have good good healthy lifestyle eat good food not just junk food uh, yes again the market is on lot of junk foods are there on the roadside and uh, it seems that nobody not nobody a very few are little bothered about the danger of covid still and i ask you one question if the covid 19 is all over then why are we not coming back to school why our life is not becoming no is called very uh, normal way you come to school meet with people have games uh, okay that's all why, why are you not doing it why you are not doing because the danger is still there nuclear waste well this is not in our hand because uh, because any, we cannot have any nuclear power uh, is called to use or, or uh, not use but this is all the uh, but in a bigger form uh, there are nuclear it is called uh, uh, there are areas where the nuclear is uh, used for the uh, generation of power and uh, treatment etc etc nuclear reactions generate a toxic waste which have to be disposed of by carefully the waste generator is toxic radioactive and explosive substances the disposal of unclear waste has become a major problem in the most countries now office and school waste well, right now, maybe there is little because of uh, the virtual classes, online uh, uh, processes going on. But still, still lots of paperwork, lots of, you know, keeping the records in the called hard copies. Okay. So, and just now I was talking about, no, lots of uh, electronic is called wastes, uh, wastes are also taking place because uh, now almost uh, everywhere we have got the computer, you know, laptop, mobile and so many other electronic gadgets are there and these things uh, every now and then needs uh, change or they become waste, etc, 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 etc. Uh, you won't believe, uh, last year I was in Bankura during uh, Christmas and I had gone to uh, Bankura, is uh, not as developed as uh, bigger cities like Kolkata and all this, no? And obviously I was in a remote place where the, uh, like our fathers, no, those fathers are also running uh, hostels and schools for the poor children. And you trust me, you trust me. I just once happens to go, happen to go around the uh, hostel and in one corner I found so many old hard disks, at least 50 plus. I asked father, but father, so many hard disks. Yeah, we have got 15 computer and we have been running this school for more than 20 years. So every now and then they get, uh, you know, uh, spoiled. So what to do? We just change them. 
so 50 imagine just 50 hard disk uh, 50 hard disks and just lying in the corner they will go past as waste they will go as office waste this is office waste in a village and imagine in the city or the metropolis and the bigger cities there are also the millions of such wastes are there and which is really becoming the hazard for us and you imagine in your own house yourself how many mobiles are there now and how many mobiles are old they are thrown they are thrown yeah so large amount of paper and other material used in the offices are also add to the west in cities these have to be divided and collected as uh, biodegradable and non-biodegradable okay waste which could be also used again so we'll be discussing again in the next lesson in detail about uh, these these but in general uh, uh, dear children you just be aware of the waste products okay so till then uh, get through once again i just remind you this topic is today waste management in the sources of waste we have discussed about the sources of wastes i say she will never ask you the long uh, essay type question they will ask you always pinpointing uh, small short short questions maybe one word answer one sentence answer definition etc etc examples types kinds etc by this time you must know that you have written your first semester uh, self assessment one self assessment 2 even a uh, semester exam you will know and I always suggest to you go through the together with book question answer and you will be equipped, uh, equipping yourself means you will be acquainted with the uh, type of requirement that you need for your question and answer so wish you all the best stay safe stay home God bless you